Gisberg and Tan here, we're, we're told. Remember, they're doing 200 <laughs> 250k more per hour <laughs> on the run into turn one. Cheer, bro, I'm through. Thank you. Supreme car confidence, isn't it, when you can look across like that? Watch this here. He goes off the track, two wheels into the grass, and typical Van Gisbergen didn't lift. That's wild. Well, he's. I can only assume that he's just searching for water to cool the tyres out. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to do it. Welcome back to Inside Supercars, everybody. He did it on both sides of the track as well, the pit wall side and the grandstand side. It was pretty wild driving. That's the term we used at the time. Just before we talk about the mowing, pretty could wild. you see him doing the thumbs up at I the... I had no idea did you what wave back? On. <laughs> Why didn't you wave back? Well, he was passing me. Well, you unsocial. I would have gone wave back. Wave back. <laughs> wave back. I'm going to wave back. We want, your view, <laughs> we want your view on the, on the driving through the grass. I mean, that was... How should we view that, guys? I mean, we laugh about it in the coverage, but really we shouldn't. That's it's called it's... M A Triple D. <laughs> Seriously, mad. I mean, uh, I mean, we love the way he drives the car. I mean, yep. he's flamboyant, he's brave, um, he's exuberant. The way that he's got great car control, all the great things we love about the way he drives the car. But there is no way that when you drive along there and you just drive the car through the grass, that you don't have huge risk. And the problem for me with that stuff is that we've already spoken about track limits through the course of the weekend. You know, Jamie Winkup was talking about track limits. But when you do that, you set a bad example for young people. So I'll bet you that the next Formula Ford meeting at Eastern Creek, <laughs> you know, in a club meeting, and some kid decides he wants to cool the tyre down, I saw Shane do that and I roll over and do it. You just don't, you can't do it. You've got to have a rule to fix it. The spooky thing for me is the risk. Oh, that's what uh, I mean. Huge Kimi risk. Raikkonen, British Grand Prix last year, went off the road and the little divot to the side of the racetrack and it flicked the car around through it back on the racetrack. So unless you walked every metre of the track either side of the flanks, you're not 100% sure what's out there. 100%. There's only got to be a little divot in the road and away you go. You don't, <laughs> you don't do that track walks, do you? You don't go looking... No, you don't go outside the track. <laughs> no, they're, all, they're focused <laughs> on cracks in the road. <laughs> yeah, it would slow the car down that much. Texture yeah. And, yeah. But, but, but also, I don't get the gain. Mm. I mean, yeah. seriously, the That's risk versus think, yeah. reward is what this business is about. Huge risk for very little reward. Good telly. The fans yeah. had some fun <laughs> yeah. with it too. Have a look at this. This is a little something that uh, caught our eye. Shane's mowing. <laughs> is your front straight grass a bit too long? <laughs> Call Shane. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and uh, Murph asked him about it at the end of the race and he just dead set shrugged his shoulders. He didn't care. He wasn't interested. So uh, it was funny. <laughs>